Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a Hermit Crab FAQ, and um, I've done a couple other FAQs where I answer um, other questions, but usually I only do like one question per video and make the whole bit video about like that one question, but today I'm going to be answering just like a whole, like a lot of the questions I do here a lot. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and get right into this video. So the first question is, how long does a hermit crab live as a pet? Um, and I've seen so many different people answer different things for this question, but I know that um, the right answer is that um, like in the wild, they'll live about 30 years, but in captivity, they can live about up to 20 years with you. Um, and I know people like hermit crabs that have lived longer than this, but um, it's rare. So this is more of just like the average um, hermit crab lifespan. This next question is, can hermit crabs eat each other? And the answer to this is yes, they definitely can. I've seen it multiple times in my own tank, but, um, people have said that they, like, can, they'll kill each other, uh, and then eat them and stuff, but, um, I've noticed that with mine, after my hermit crab has already died from other reasons, then they'll start to eat it if I don't take the hermit crab out, like, the day, like, right as soon as I see it, has died um usually I don't um like I don't like leave it in there for like days like on purpose or anything but sometimes I won't notice and like if they're buried under there then I won't know that they're dead I think they're molting or something but sometimes they have actually died and the hermit crabs will start going under there and eating it and it's very gross but um yeah so they definitely do eat each other so the next question is, do hermit crabs sleep? And the answer to this is yes, they definitely do. Um, they are nocturnal, so they will sleep for most of the day. Sometimes I'll just see them coming out during the day, though, just to kind of walk around and get water. But usually they don't always eat their food in the day. Usually they like to do that at night, so... The next question is, do hermit crabs make good pets? And I would say that they definitely do, um, especially for people who have allergies like me and... Um, a lot of my family have allergies, so it makes it really good because they don't have fur or anything, nothing that'll cause you to have allergies, and they're really easy to care for once you have, like, all the right things that they need to live, and, um, yeah, they're also really cool to watch, and I think it's really interesting seeing them grow, changing shells, and they're super cool animals, and I would definitely, um, suggest researching more and more into them because the more you research into them, the like more things that you'll find out that and it's like really cool so yeah the next question is do hermit crabs smell and they definitely don't I've never had them like smell bad or anything um even whenever my hermit crabs um have died like if as soon as you um it does smell bad when they do die but that's like the only time it does smell bad um so but it's not like hamsters or anything like after about a week it starts smell their t their tank will start or their um, cage will start smelling really bad, um, but for hermit crabs, um, it's not like that. You really don't even have to clean out their tank very often at all because they don't really, yeah, they don't really have any odors, so. The next question is, do hermit crabs have sal uh, salmonella? And this is, um, a commonly believed myth, um, but no, they do not carry salmonella or any other diseases, and even after a hermit crab dies, usually, um, like, they won't, like, pass the disease on to any other hermit crabs, like, or not disease, like, whatever they had, like, if they died, it's not going to, like, just make all the other hermit crabs die. So, yeah, so it's, the answer to that question is no. <laughs> the next question is, do hermit crabs make noise? And this, I have seen they do make noise. Um, if you're meaning, like, making noise like whenever they're they move around or like go against the glass of the tank you know it'll like kind of like scratch against the glass or like if they're like digging under and they're at the bottom of the tank um it'll be like a clicking sound hearing their claws sort of like walk against the glass um if they got like all the way under the sand which my hermit crabs have done before and it's really weird to hear that sound but they also make like their own sounds like actually coming out of them um people have said they sound like a chirping bird that they sound like man there's so much stuff like a frog like just a whole bunch of different stuff um my hermit crabs per personally never I've never heard them make like their own sounds like these um but if you do um want to know what that sounds like you can look it up on YouTube they have quite a few different videos of their hermit crabs making these noises so 
This next question is another question I've heard so many times, and this is also the last question I'm going to be answering, and it is, how many hermit crabs can you put in, like, a 10-gallon tank or in a 20-gallon tank or this size tank or this size tank? And the answer to this question is, most people say to have two hermit crabs in a 10-gallon tank, and I would say that that is sort of like not I don't think that they need that honestly um usually that's just the answer I tell people because it's kind of hard to explain just by like answering it like typing or whatever but um which is also good I mean like obvious like if you like I would people say like the minimum is like two hermit crabs in a 10 gallon tank and I would say that's pretty crazy unless you have like jumbo huge hermit crabs because um the small hermit crabs like they're that's like a lot of room for them um which is good I mean like obviously you want to give your hermit crabs like the best so if you want to do that then you can but if you don't have like the room for all of that or anything like that then it's okay to have just like a 10 gallon tank with like four small hermit crabs in it or like five small hermit crabs in it but if you have like medium size maybe like four small uh, or like four medium hermit crabs in a 10 gallon tank or something like that because um, otherwise it's just like a lot, like I have a 20 gallon tank, a uh, 20 gallon long tank, and I have six hermit crabs in it, two of which are about like this size, and then I have two that are about this size, wait, <laughs> yes, I have two hermit crabs about this size, and then I have, um, I have a hermit crab about this size, and then I have two small hermit crabs that are like that like about that big so and that is like plenty of room especially since my hermit crabs at least really don't do that much like usually they just like they just like to sleep and hide and so really they don't need that much like as much room as that especially if they're super small and so and some people say even like like bigger tanks um like they'll say like a 20 gallon for like three hermit crabs and that is just like a little too much I think um but obviously I'm not saying that you shouldn't do that though like if you can because um that it is good you know for them to have like the most amount of space that they can you know um the bigger the or the bigger the better of course so yeah but I would just say that sometimes it like I just it doesn't really I would say I would say it just doesn't apply to every hermit crabs like every size hermit crab for like the two and the ten gallon like uh like the um five gallon per hermit crab method thing so I hope I explained that pretty well anyways um yeah so I think that's all the questions that I'm going to be answering today and yeah so thank you all so much for watching this video and i will see you all in my next video and if you uh have any other questions comment them down below and um if i get enough i'll make another hermit crab faq video but if i don't get as many comments i'll just reply to the reply to you directly um so yeah thank you all so much for watching and i will see you all in my next video bye everyone